All right, the Jaffa-based Tiroche de Leon Art Collection initiated a residency program with the goal of supporting the careers of talented young artists from all corners of the developing world. Last year, we hosted on the show Ruben Pang, a painter from Singapore who took part in the program. And this year, our reporter Daniel Campos went out to meet Mexican artist Maurice. Let's take a look. He usually collects garbage from the streets. But for over a month at the Tiroche de Leon residency program in the historic port of Jaffa, the sea has become his main provider of materials. Born in Mexico, Morris is a conceptual multidisciplinary artist. Known for working with raw materials and rubbish, he picks up from the streets. Through the trash, Morris crafts unique anthropological research that becomes paintings, collages, and sculptures. Here, the trash doesn't belong to anyone. When I worked in Germany, the trash belonged to the state, and I couldn't take it, so I had to work with it differently. To take from the trash in Germany is like stealing. In Mexico, taking from the trash is surviving, and this helps me understand the people and their environment. If you don't have money, work, or food, you go out to the streets to recollect these materials and then sell them. That's the reason why it's difficult to find a lot of these materials in Mexico, because it's money. ¿Por qué? Porque es, es dinero. Morris is a non-judgmental artist. In his work, no one is guilty and no one is to blame, and violence can be measured through the trash in the street. From outside this country, you see terrorists in an internal conflict with constant threat of war. But once you enter here, you find out that we are very similar countries. He has exhibited his unconventional work in some of the most prestigious modern art galleries of the world. The MoMA in New York has a piece of art by him in the museum collection. And now let's meet Morris's roommate for a month, Wiener Jumalon, from the Philippines. A painter caught between expressionism and abstractionism. When I came here, uh, it's uh, re really an over overwhelming experience to be looking at things, uh, different things, different landscape, people. I've been always interested in people. Shy and introverted, Winner walks the streets for hours in search for inspiration. When I came here, I'm like a viewer. I've been uh, picking through the Israeli culture sort of thing. And uh, I've been shooting images that I got gravitated to. Sometimes taking risks to snap a photo that will serve as inspiration. And just like the late Lithuanian-born American artist, Ben Shan, he also uses photographs as a reference tool for his paintings. I almost got beaten by, by the Sudanese, Sudanese uh, community because of this image. Morris and Winner have spent parallel days in the same home. Morris wakes up early in the morning to work on his heavyweight installations, accompanied by his assistant and translator, Fernando Carvajal while Winner works in the second floor, spending his afternoons and nights between brush strokes and cigarettes. In the afternoon, both artists find a common ground in this 19th century house, enjoying the Mediterranean sunset from the terrace. On July 28th, Morris will display his work in the house in front of an audience of art collectors and art aficionados. Following the exhibition, he will then leave to Germany, where a new exhibition awaits. Winner is expected to continue his work alone in the waterfront home in Jaffa, until his residency ends by the end of August.